Hi, I'm Caitlin and I work here at the Baltimore Museum of Industry as a museum educator. I'd like to tell you more about gaslighting and our ring of fire. Gaslighting in the U.S. began with the Peel brothers, who learned about gaslighting on a trip to England in 1802. Years later, Rubens Peel used this knowledge to create gaslighting in his father's museum in Philadelphia with the help of Dr. Benjamin Kugler. Rubens' brother, Rembrandt, was able to bring more excitement to gaslighting here in Baltimore with his magic ring of fire, similar to the ring of fire on display in the museum. The ring would release gas that could then be lit to create indoor lighting. Peel felt that this method could be used throughout the city and gained several investors for his gas street lights. The Baltimore City Council granted the right to form the Gaslight Company of Baltimore, the first gaslight company in America, in 1816. As gaslighting became more and more common, many companies emerged in the industry. In 1888, several companies, including Peel's, were consolidated to create the Consolidated Gas Company of Baltimore. The company then combined with United Power in 1906 to become the Consolidated Gas, Electric, Light, and Power Company, now known as BG&E. In 1957, Walt Disney bought 55 original Baltimore gas streetlights to use in his Disneyland Park in California. The lights lined Main Street, USA, and used to be lit at dusk by a cast member who would dress up as a 19th century lamplighter. <laughs>